precipitation from last week's downpour was more than the combined drainage and pumping station capacities could handle. Hence the knee and gutter deep flash floods all over the mega city. So says the MMDA, which expressed openness to any Senate probe and at the same time pleaded for the NCR residents to properly dispose of their trash to help unclog drainage systems and also avert serious flooding going forward. Here's the full report from our Patrick de Jesus. <laughs> MMDA welcomes a possible Senate investigation into the massive floods over the weekend in some parts of Metro Manila after intense rain. In a resolution, Senator Bong Revilla wants to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the situation of flood control projects managed by the MMDA and DPWH. MMDA officer in charge and Flood Control and Sewerage Management Office Engineer Baltasar Melgar explained the rainfall count last Saturday based on Pagasa's monitoring reached 79 millimeters in one hour, which caused spillover in some waterways. Melgar said the floods immediately subsided. Itong uh, ganito kalakas na ulan ay hindi ko kaya ng ating mga drainages yan o ating waterway na i-convey na hindi mag-spillover ang tubig. So napansin natin na yung San Juan River ay umapaw kasi nga hindi niya kayang i-ano yan eh i-convey agad yung baha na bumagsak doon sa, sa San Juan River papunta sa Manila, Manila Bay through Pasig River. All of the 71 pumping stations in the NCR are also operational like the Tripa de Galina in Pasay City, the largest pumping station managed by the MMDA, which has a pumping capacity of 70 cubic meter per second. But one of the causes of flooding is also the garbage problem. Around 6 to 8 cubic meters or 7 tons of garbage is being collected in Tripa de Galina per day. But when there is an intense rain, it reaches up to 20 cubic meters or 18 tons of garbage. Ang pinaka-function po ng pumping station ay magpapump lang sana ng tubig baha. Kaso may kasama kasing mga basura kaya nababawasan yung capacity ng pumps namin. Yun ang nagpapabagal sa pagpapump namin ng tubig baha papunta sa Manila Bay. At saka nasisira pa yung mga equipment namin. This is why the public is encouraged to be responsible with waste disposal. Meanwhile, the MMDA assured there are other flood control projects in place. Meron tayong uh, flood control master plan. Ginawa yan ng uh, World Bank. So, yan ang sinusunda ng DPWH, uh, ng MMDA, na mag, pag nag-construct ng uh, structure. Patrick De Asus, For The Nation.